everybody, it's Carrie, and I'm here to do my review of the NYX Butter Glosses. Let me tell you, I did find that there were more that didn't work for me than actually did. Now, they all felt the same on the lips, and they feel great, and they really helped me out. During the time I had an allergic reaction, these things felt really good. I've been wearing them almost nonstop, and I had a lot to choose for if you watched my NYX Butter Gloss haul, or my NYX haul. I had other things besides Butter Glosses in there, but... These are the ones that, right here, that worked for me. Now, I have the original two that I had. I have Creme, Bru Creme Brulee. This was my very first one, and I bought it, I think, last year. So I had it a while, and I really honestly just didn't use it for a while. And then I got the Eclair in a Ipsy bag. It was like the best item out of the Ipsy bag that I've ever gotten. And by the way, I, cancel I did cancel my Ipsy subscription, the same. Yes, I did. So, um, but it was the only great product that I've ever gotten from Ipsy that I really have used. Then I've got these are the ones that I ordered um, from NYX directly that did work for me better. These two right here, as you can see, are pretty much we're going in the same family as the Creme Brulee and the Eclair. And these are the Vanilla Cream Pie and the Angel Food Cake. So. What I'm trying to do is stick with my natural lip color without going too outrageous. I want to stick with just my natural color. And these pretty much work the best for me. And believe it or not, for me, the dark, the darker one works a lot better than some of these lighter ones. Because I don't want to go too bright, but yet I don't want to go too nude either. I wanted to stick with my natural lips. So depending on the pigment color of your lips, that will help you decide which ones you need to choose. These things are pretty inexpensive. My first order that I placed on NYX.com, or NYXcosmetics.com, I think you get 25% off of it, so make sure you sign up for that. And if you spend, I think it was $25, you get free shipping. Something to that effect. Go check them out. So, these worked really well for me. Then I had these two colors, and I kind of got mixed feelings about them. I originally, when I applied these, I was in my room. The lighting is not great in there, and they looked absolutely perfect and completely matched my lip color. And as you can see, we are getting different colors right here. And... It honestly did not show up as bright as it did in the packaging, but when I went into the bathroom, and let me tell you what it is. This one is sugar cookie, and this one is strawberry parfait. I did notice when I went to different lighting that these two were a little bit brighter than I am used to, so I do have something that I do to counteract the brightness and to get it back to my natural lip color. And what I do, let me bring out, and let me tell you, it is ugly on its own. Own, own, own. And it is the fortune cookie. I've had them in my pocket and I was trying to grab them. This one is the ugliest thing I have ever seen if you just apply it by itself. It, it's just ugly. It gives you that dead lip look. It is so nude. But what I do, when I find one that's a little too bright, like this one, I apply this over it. It counteracts that brightness and brings it back to my natural pigment color. So even though I hate the way this looks and it's ugly, I would never, ever, ever walk out of the house with this on. I wouldn't film a video with this on by itself. Um, it does counteract this and brings it back. So for that reason, I do like the fortune cookie, but I can't recommend it on its own to anybody. Then um, I was going to talk about some of these others. Let me grab, let me move the ones that kind of work out of my lap. So just to reiterate which ones that work, um, strawberry parfait and sugar cookie with fortune cookie over the top of them. And then I've got creme brulee eclair. Vanilla Cream Pie and Angel Food Cake. These work really well just on their own and match my natural lip pigmentation the best. So the rest of these, let me grab them, are kind of the ones that didn't really work for me for various reasons. And I've written some notes. I hope I got notes on every single one of them. If not, I'll try to remember whatever, what, what I was thinking. So the fortune cookie, again, it was just a dead look. It was a too, too nude for me. If your lips are just that pale, it may work for you, but I don't know. It's just, it's personal preference, and I wouldn't wear that on its own. Let me see. Peaches and cream right here. Um, 
This one was way too pigmented for me and it was not something that I would generally wear out the, the color. And another problem was I probably could have made it work by mixing it with one of the other colors, but it was really patchy. And when you put it on, I could really tell because the color was wrong, but it was like, I didn't really have any dry skin on my lips, but it would just cling to different parts of my lips. And that's what most of these were doing was that it would just cling and you could just see it in the mirror and it looked terrible. So this was Peaches and Cream and then Peach Cobbler. Let me see which one. This one is Peach Cobbler. Same thing. Color was wrong and it was just patchy and you could see that. So these two, the peach ones, would not recommend at all. And then we've got, let's see, oh me, whoop, just threw it, I'll get that one in a minute, <laughs> oh my goodness, the, um, and I'm not sure how this pronounced, I originally thought it was meringue, because we are kind of in a dessert um, area with a name, but when I looked it up, I'm not sure if this is meringue or merengue, and merengue is a dance, but it makes more sense for meringue, I don't know. Um, wrong color and patchy, same thing with it, and um, it is getting closer to the color of the other ones that match the natural pigmentation, but it was just not, not quite there, and again, patchy, did not like that. Cupcake, um, that may have been the one I threw across the floor, let me grab it. <laughs> yes, cupcake is the one. It's, it's not patchy at all, this is it right here. It's not patchy at all, but just the color didn't work for me. But again, I could probably make it work with that fortune cookie over the top of it. But again, just not something that I would wear out on its own. Then, um, let's see here. Choo -choo -choo. Maple Blondie right here. Color was fine. Didn't have any issue with the color on this one but it was so patchy and this one felt a slightly grit to it so it makes me wonder if i just got bad formulas on some of these that are patchy because not all of them are patchy at all some of them smooth on really good they're not patchy and the color is right but it kind of just made me wonder if i got a bad one on this one but they are really really inexpensive so um I cannot remember right now. I've got them so mixed up. I don't remember which ones I haven't talked about. I know I haven't talked about apple strudel. Color was just wrong on this one. Cherry cheesecake, same thing with color, just not for me. And I think that is, yes, that is all. So these are kind of the ones, again, that didn't work right there. And let me just give you the names one more time and we'll end the video. So cupcake didn't work, cherry cheesecake, Peach Cobbler, Maple Blondie, Apple Strudel, Peaches and Cream, and then Meringue. So these are the ones that didn't work for me, but they may work for somebody else just depending on the pigmentation of your lips. But keep in mind that a lot of these just had that patchy look to them and they just did not work at all. And then again, Fortune Cookie had to be the ugliest one hands down by itself. If you're going to get it, use it with one that's just a little bit darker to make it go back to your natural pigmentation. So again, though, overall, I love the NYX Butter Glosses. I love the formula of it. It makes my lips feel so smooth. I don't even feel like I need to wear lip balm, period, with them. I really like them, and then they do kind of melt into your lips a little bit and the consistency gets a lot more smoother and it does lose a little bit of its glossiness over time but you can still feel it they're not that sticky but i like a sticky gloss and these don't bother me at all whatsoever and so if you've got an issue with sticky glosses i think you may end up liking the next butter glosses so that's kind of my review it's been all over the place i'm sorry about that when i'm talking about more than one thing with all these different colors, I get them confused. Sorry, but thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye, everybody.